All righty. Welcome to a Wacky Wednesday at VBS. We're just racing in. See, I've still got my name tag on from Wellspring. I gotta throw my VBS shirt on. Sorry, looking for him. There's Stephanie. <laughs> Woo! It's a wacky Wednesday here at St. Martin. We got well diggers. We got daycare kids. Oh, so welcome to day three, our Wednesday of St. Martin Online VBS. How are you, Steph? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> oh, don't I ask. All right. So, um, today we're looking at another one of Jesus' miracles, okay? And so, uh, it's uh, um, uh, what Miss Page loves to call the bread and the fishes. So, we've got that story for us today um, and some songs and other things. And hi to peace of mind. Yep. They're and on already. On. Hi, kids. And once again, if you've got any prayer requests, let us know as we go through this. And uh, we'll be able to pray for them if you put them there. And then uh, also if you have questions uh, uh, for those kids watching out there online, let us know that then too. So that we can um, answer your questions and do your prayer requests. So, uh, welcome to Wacky Wednesday VBS. So, why don't we start with a word of prayer? Gracious Heavenly Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with us now. Help us grow through your word. Help us enjoy the praising you and be able to continue to grow in our relationship with you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, so what's next, Miss Stephanie? We have our song. And did they do? Did you talk about prayer requests? Yes. Okay, so praise him, praise him. Now, what's the motions again? I forget this Praise one. him, praise okay, him. Okay, praise him, praise him. Love him. Love him, love him, all you little children. Thank him. Thank him. And serve him. Serve him. Yep. Okay, so praise, praise is the white well, verse. Serve. Do you need this copy right here? No, I got the, the words. <laughs> it's the motions I never get, right? So. This is funny. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, let me get the one second. Hi. Hi, girls. Oh, down. Before we start our song. We wanted just to show our some of our um, daycare ladies. Of mine, daycare ladies. Yes. With their masks and everything. Yes. And it is. A, is it Hawaiian Day? Hawaiian Day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is wow. it perfect for a wacky Wednesday of VBS? So Miss Maddie and Miss Emma are here from Peace of Mind, and they show you what they do with the kids and stuff like that. So what are you gonna do for Hawaiian Day, ladies? Um. Well, we're we t t this morning we had coconut bowling, so we had some blue Ooh. water bottles. And they use a real coconut Ooh. and bowl with it. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And they do the hula. You can teach them the hula. Yeah, that's in the plan. <laughs> good deal. Oh, well, so they good. can see you on, online right now. And they're probably wondering how you did that. Yeah. That way they're <laughs> screaming like crazy, wondering why aren't you down there with them. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. Hi, kids. Well, good. Well, thank you, Thanks ladies, for, for yeah, joining us. That's awesome. Well, cool. Bye. Have fun. We'll see you later. All righty. So. Yeah. We're doing praise him, praise him. Okay, I'm ready. I think. I did 
did that right. God is love, yep, right? Yep, you did yep. it. Except you when I got it. it mixed up. So, <laughs> so I think this was Miss Page's one of Miss Page's favorite Bible stories was breads and fishes. She wanted to make sure when we went online that we would do this story with you. And it's neat that today we have two copies of this book, The Boy Who Gave His Lunch Away. Now, this is a rewrite from the gospel lesson that we have. Oh, there you go. So, Miss Stephanie is going to hold the picture still that I can't do while I read you the story. And it's about a, a boy named Joel. Now, we don't have Joel's name in the Bible, but the writer took Joel as the name for the boy that goes to see Jesus. And Jesus then does a miracle, all right, to help him. All right? So, all right. So this is the boy who gave his lunch away. Okay? Let's get, the, we're getting this set up for you. Right there, like that? Yeah. Okay. You're right, it's opposite of what you think it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's the boy who gave his lunch away. Yep. Okay. All right, so here we go. <laughs> oh, it's a wacky Wednesday, that's all it is. Oh, it is not showing. Do I, did you do one page or both? I did both. I tried to do both. Yeah. Joel lived a happy life down by Lake Galilee. We have a farm, he'd like to say, for Mom and Dad and me. His dad grew barley, oats, and wheat for baking rolls and bread. What we don't eat, we give away, was what he always said. Joel knew what father meant for everyone needs bread. But why are some folks poor, he asked, when we are so well fed? It isn't fair at all, I know, but someday father said, the good Messiah will be here, and he will be our king. There will be no rich or poor. We'll have everything. So everyone's looking forward to the Christ, the Messiah, Jesus. I've got to go slower because I can't aim the picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's fine. Oh. So Joel helped his folks at work. He rose each day at four and washed the pots and scrubbed the pans and swept and mopped the floor. He helped his dad fill up the bags of bread to give the poor. One warm June day, a neighbor stopped to buy a loaf of bread. I'm on my way to see the king. He's right nearby, he said. A king, said Joel, right nearby? You must be fooling me. The stranger shook his head. I'm not. Why, <coughs> excuse me, why people say that he is God's Messiah. Here at last, why don't you come and see? Is this the man named Jesus, sir? Asked Father with a smile. Because if so, my son can go and see him for a while. The very man, the neighbor cried. You've heard of him, I see. I've heard he's kind and loves the Lord. That's good enough for me. No, you're fine. You're fine. We're trying here, kids. <laughs> You'd better take this lunch along, my boy, his mother said. I've packed you up two fish and five small loaves of barley bread. <clears throat> I won't need that, cried Joel. Why, the king will feed the poor. But father told him, take it, son, as they went out the door. So up the road, with lunch in hand, the two went with a smile. They soon came to a noisy crowd and stretched out half a mile. He must be near. We'll see the king in just a little while. That's Jesus there, a voice called out. And Joel turned to see. There stood a man as plain and poor as any man could be. He ran up close where he could see and hear what Jesus said. Is this the king, this plain poor man? I'm glad I brought some bread. Yep. Then Jesus spoke. His voice was strong. Bring all the sick to me. And Joel stared as lame folks walked and blind men cried, I see. 
As Joel watched, he saw the sick made whole and well and strong. Our king, our king, a shout rose up from all who came along. No, you're fine. <laughs> then Jesus turned and raised a hand and spoke out loud and clear. The kingdom that God promised you, you see already here. The kingdom the Messiah brings is full of love and joy. It's like a happy dinner that a king gives for his boy. The day grew short and someone cried, I wish we had some bread. A man beside the teacher spoke, How will these folks be fed? When Joel heard, he ran right up, I have some bread and fish. I'll gladly share them with the crowd if that is what you wish. Five loaves, two fish, for all this mob, asked one man with a frown. But Jesus took the food and said, Have everyone sit down. Okay. So everyone's sitting. Jesus gets up and he says, We thank you, Father, Jesus prayed and blessed and broke the bread. Then his disciples passed it out till all the crowd was fed. Everybody got to eat fish and breads, fish and bread and fish. Yeah, that sounds better. Everyone ate bread and fish. So from five loaves to two fish, all these people got to eat. One more page. Here we go. A miracle, somebody cried. There's food for all to share. The helpers even gathered up 12 baskets full to spare. Hooray, hooray, the people cheered. Shall we crown Jesus king? He'll always give us what we need and we'll have everything. But Jesus turned and hurried off. He wanted no such thing. So, we can see that Jesus, true God, true man, knows about hunger, just like you and I. He knows about that too. But he was the one that came to save us from something bigger and more important than hunger. He came to save us from our sins. And so that's why he didn't go with the people to be the king. He stayed with his disciples to become our savior. And then to die on the cross to take away our sins. And so that's an important thing that we can remember. We can see Jesus as true God doing that miracle because he is God. And true man, because he knows our needs and our hunger and things like that. But he stays focused in the plan to save us from our sins, to be our Savior. And so, thank you, Miss Stephanie, for holding the pictures better than I can. I actually don't know. You did, you did a nice job while you were reading. <laughs> we do have some sheets. I'm going to show them now and remind you later. If you'd like, there's this coloring sheet of a boy with the barley loaves and the two fishes with Jesus. Or there's a code sheet. Those of you that like to go through and, and figure out codes, there's a code sheet with messages for today's activity pages. So we have that for you also. So... Um, we, we, we want to keep in mind that as we go through VBS, if you have any prayer requests or any uh, uh, questions with the story, you can let us know. And we're so glad that uh, uh, Miss Sally's with us, along with the Peace of Mind kids and whoever else is out there watching with us now and later. So, Miss Stephanie, what's our next song? Fruit of the Spirit. Fruit of the Spirit. Now, this is one... I need a book to help me with. Yeah, it's got a lot of words in it, but it talks about a different kind of fruit. Yeah. We're talking about food and eating and things today with our story, so I thought we'd do Fruit of the Spirit. And this is one our Faith Weaver friends learned and knew. 225. 225. I was looking under F, not T. The fruit of the spirit. So, so our faith weaver friends, if you remember, oh, wait, my fingers are all in the way. This way, 
Fruit of the Spirit, that's what we're going to be singing, okay? They should, they'll remember it. Yep. For the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. For such there is no see so far uh, I don't see any prayer requests I don't see any questions yet so we don't have anything with that um, Sally said see. this is fun thanks Sally this is fun praising the Lord together with everybody mm -hmm. wonderful mm -hmm. glad you're enjoying it <laughs> um, <laughs> what else is on our list Miss Stephanie that um, I gotta remember I'm our prayer um, and a song I'm gonna do another song yeah. and then Okay, so you're going to do a prayer and yep, the Lord's Prayer? Yep, yep, yep. And then we'll pray and do the Lord's Prayer and then, yes. So, uh, if you'd please repeat after me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For loving me. For loving me. And forgiving me. And forgiving me. And giving. And giving. Me all I need. Me all I need. Help me. Help me. To trust. To trust. And follow you. And follow you. And we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We are the church. Can we do that one? Yeah, You're going to have to look it, it up. I mean, you are yeah, just for the verses, the 252. It's been a while since I've sung that one. <clears throat> this time, I will keep my book open to the end. <laughs> even in a three frame. <laughs> It goes like this. I am the church. You are the church. We are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world. Yes, we're the church together. The church is not a building. The church is not a steeple. The church is not a resting place. The church is the people. Jesus, I 
Um, I guess. Yeah, we can do it. Um, and that's a class of people receive the Holy Spirit and all the builders in the world to all who are near it. I am the Turks. You are the Turks. We are the Turks together. All the Father Jesus all around the world. Yes, we're the Turks. So, yeah, whether you're a grandma or one of the kids in peace of mind or in between there, all right, we are all part of God's family, God's church. And all the people that gathered with Ben jo Joel, um, all that were there that day to hear Jesus' teaching, uh, to be fed by the miracle Jesus did, those that still believe Jesus are part of God's family too. And so we hope you stay and be a part of God's family also. Now, don't forget, we have these activity pages for you on our website, www.stmartinbertrand.org. So you can print those off. Do those if you like. Now, tomorrow, we're going to be looking at another miracle of Jesus. This is one where Jesus shows his power over nature over a storm and does something incredible that uh, people don't get to do but Jesus does and we can see his power there also um, so 10 a.m. tomorrow make sure you share the news about this so uh, you can join us uh, anything else I'm forgetting no stuff? I can't think of anything uh, um, tell your friends yep yep join and, us every day we've got two days left two days left and don't forget if you missed it in the morning you still can catch it during the day on the archives and Facebook and YouTube so thanks again for joining us on a wacky Wednesday at GBS <laughs> God's blessings on your day and on your week